Hello, and welcome back to It'll Do 2. What a familiar phrase. What a wonderful phrase. Last time we checked out some of the dream world, just dipped our toe into it. And today, hopefully I can actually make some good progress. So let's just start off right away and check if this is dungeon number one. Force Wand dungeon. And there's a card right there. And we only have the Force Wand and the stick. Yeah? I see. And there's a mirror there, but I would need to combine it. Oh! Wait, what? Why does that teleport there? That's strange. But I assume if I hit this right when it- oh god. Right when it passes this- oh my god, I can't control the movement at all. When it passes this, it probably combines, and... I don't know, we'll see. Yeah, that's the- oh! Of course, that's just for getting back. But yeah, Jesus Christ, I can't control it! Just a single, like, little tap on my, my analog stick just takes me, like, flying off the edge. Whoops. There we go. Good god, that's number one. So this is dungeon number one according to the game, in, in that sense anyway, so let's start from here. Fishbun, what was this place even called? I didn't check. Searches for a higher purpose, has found only dirt and sand. Likes walks, dislikes the ocean. Is this the same as the card from It'll Do One? I can't remember if that's like the same uh, title or description. And now I can't see the, the thing. Wizardry Lab, I see. Yeah, frame drops are still happening. I tried changing a couple things, but nope. Gonna have to look into that more, unfortunately. So... Wait, what? Whoa. I see. Okay, so... Stepping on the button breaks it. Oh, I see. So I want to break it, then shoot this, unbreak it, and then shoot it again. Yeah, to combine it. There we go. And this to open this, I need to also hit this crystal. Oh, right. Um, and how do I do that? What is over here, anyway? Whoops. Hmm. Um. Yeah, it's hitting that. Oh, of course. Wait, so I do. No, I was gonna say put the button on here. Uh, the, the block on here to begin with. But no, I can't do that. Um, and like using the, the mirrors wouldn't really help for hitting that crystal. Oh god. Yeah, this is why I kind of wanted to do the sword dungeon first, because I don't remember the intricacies of the ice ring and force wand and all of that stuff. It's been too long. Your force wand projectiles will bounce on all sorts of things in here. See what happens if they collide with each other, and remember to check your map. Okay. I I guess maybe I should just leave this until this thing is powered or whatever. Like that looks like a generator of some kind. No clue. So wait, if I force wand, no, those don't matter. Yeah, let's just leave it for now. Some kind of blueprint for something. Can't roll past that. Books? No. Okay, so this thing... Force Wand does nothing. Maybe it needs to be, like, supercharged? I need to hit both. Oh god. And I, I assume both at the same time. Yeah, you have a little bit of time, so... Fire it. Run. And there we go. Ah! 
And now that's on, so I guess I'm not supposed to turn it on before figuring out the right side. I'm just supposed to figure it out. So, we'll have to see. And now this is connected, or like this is power. So I need to like flip this cable around. Okay. But how do I do that? Um... I can shoot diagonally. Oh, is that just what you do? Then what's up with this? Maybe I rotate that later? Maybe once I open the door, this will rotate or something? Ah, okay, so now that's powering. So now I can't go back, though I could just warp to Wizardry Lab. Oh boy. Ah, so one side is done, and I need to do both to progress. Okay. But then how on earth do I hit this? It doesn't reflect off of that. Oh! Wait. I see. There's another wall. Um. But I can't, like, get off in time. Damn it. Hmm. That's weird. How would that work? Yeah, I can't get off in time to have it, like, stuck there. Well, I kind of did there, but no. Alright, let's start by doing this again. That might have something to do with it, but how? Yeah, that doesn't really do anything. Hmm. I'm very confused. I don't know how you can possibly solve this. And I think there might be some kind of mechanic that I just, like, don't remember. Because it's been too long. And it can't really be a solution that doesn't just make use of the eight directions, because you have to have it solvable on a PC without an analog stick. So you can't require it to, like, shoot like that or something. It has to be straight directions. Uh, yeah, I, I guess I'm just stuck. So I guess we have to leave this dungeon for now. That's a shame. And I don't know what leaving it would even matter. Like, how am I going to solve it later if I can't solve it now? I just don't remember the mechanics of the Force Wand. Yeah. It's a big problem when you can't get hints. Wait, because you couldn't get a hint in the room, right? That was just like generally for the dungeon. Force one projectiles. Yeah. Yeah, it just doesn't... There's no hint for this puzzle specifically. Might end up having to look this up, I guess. But for now, I guess we'll just ignore the canonical first dungeon and will actually do the sword one that I feel a bit more confident about being able to do. So that's a shame. Let's me heal up as well. All right, so now I can go here and unlock this door. We got some blocks that can only be moved a certain amount of spots. So, surely I just push this one over here, and this one over here, it has to be, like so, and then I step on the last one. There we go. Ice blocks. I have to push that, I see. 
So... Hmm. Let me just try some stuff. Like if I do... No? Oh god. Yeah! Welcome back to It'll Do 2, I guess. Oh boy. It's very difficult, because I... I assume this is like an endgame kind of area, you know? Like, sure, you can do it when you have the items, I suppose, but... Just like, the thinking required feels like it's supposed to be... The last thing you do, or among the last? Which... Makes this very difficult for me, because I'm... I have not played this game for like two years. Oh boy. I just... I'm trying to think about every possible way you can push all four of these blocks, and I'm not coming up with anything that makes any sense at any point. Oh, no, 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 I think I got it. I think... Oh, did not mean to break all of them. I think I've got it. Hold on, let's see if this is actually right. So I push this one down, this one left, and then... Wait, this goes... Does this go over the spikes or not? I think it goes over the spikes. Of course it does, because... Oh god, so I, I haven't figured it out. Never mind. Wait, I... Oh man, I have like the beginnings of an idea, but not quite an idea. Because if I were to break, say, this one, push one up here... Uh... No, wait, hold on. Nope. Wait, no, no, no. No, no, no. I got it. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. Holy fuck. Bun boy. Bun brute. A self-made gunfighter who rules the prairie. Better watch your step. Likes duels. Dislikes foul play. Good lord. Well, I did it. Finally. Need a key. There's a bomb. Need to hit both of those. And that does not have a very long timer. I see. So we probably don't want to blow up the bomb just yet. I don't think we want to blow up the bomb at all. Oh, but we do now. Yeah, I see. Now I need to uh, push this out. And then get it near this crystal. And then we light it on fire. And then, there we go. Cool. That was simple enough. Two crystals. Health regenerator. You can't just walk off the edge. Just wanted to check. And that changes some of those. And so does that. And there's one block we have to work with. So I can either put the block on this button or the top one. This would allow me to get the bomb out. But I don't feel like that's necessary, really. I feel like this one is better. Yeah, I, I feel like I want the... Oh, God. The top button. Let's just try that. Oh, God. Also, wait. Yeah, I need to hit both, but I can. Alright, that's fine. Oh. I see. I need the bottom button to orient the bomb, and then the top button. So we need to start with the bottom one. Okay. 
Yeah, so there we go. Um, oh god, I think I just messed up. Yeah, I definitely messed up. Wait, no, I can, I can walk around. Right, just push it out, and then this way. Now I can push the bomb up. Um, but then I'm stuck. Yeah, I can I can push that off, but then it's stuck forever, and that's not good. Yeah, that's that's not how you do it. So let's try again. What was this place called? Antigram. And what does Tipsy say? Looks like you get to use both the fire sword and the chain in here. The east and west halves of this, this dungeon are mirror images of each other, but some things are not perfectly mirrored. How's that for helpful? Some things are mirrored, but other things are not. I mean, we have to push the bomb to the right. There's no other way, because then it just gets stuck. So... It has to be like that, but then... What do we do from here? I guess push it down? And then walk around? Push this off the button. Oh, but no, that's not very helpful either. Also, I just need to confirm it. What happens if the bomb is like on one of those things and then you take it down? Or just a block, I guess. It just falls and is gone. It has to be the bottom button first, right? Because otherwise I can't push the bomb anywhere. I'm very, very confused. So we do that. I mean, this is what I did already, right? And now I'm stuck, because yeah, if I push this again... Oh, if, oh my god, of course, I can just... Yeah, I can just push the bomb out. Jesus, okay, that's that's what you do. Never mind, never mind. I was making this a whole lot more complicated in my head. There we go, and then we just push this around. Cool, all right. Really wasn't that bad. It was not as bad as I made it out to be. Now we can unlock this door. Question mark. So that's a three. And that's a four. Let's just confirm that that's the same every time. Yep, okay, all right. Four and three. So I could push this one. Uh, I guess it just has to be... Oh no, that doesn't work. Okay, never mind. Um... I guess you do something like this, and then, no, like that, that over here, and there we go. So what's this teleporter? Okay, just other side, but that's not very really helpful. Oh wait. No, it doesn't show, like, the same numbers, or show the other numbers on the other side. I see. You need to do both sides here. Yeah, and that's the other door that I could have taken, but didn't. Seems easy enough. So now I can go down, back to the start, and to the right. K 
Can you come from below? Yes, you can. Ah, so that's that's definitely better. Just to reset them. All right, so this is five. That's four. That's also five. And that's three. So this has to be... Oh, wait. This way. The left one definitely has to be right here. It can't go any other way. Um, I'm guessing I push the top left button and push this one over here. Like so. Uh, this one was five, right? So I pushed this one all the way up. And this one over here. There we go. Oh god. Oh, it's the same thing, but different. Uh-oh. How can you possibly do this? Okay, I think I might have to just leave this for next time and just continue on. So, for now, I'm enjoying the dream world, just slightly frustrated by the Force Wands dungeon, because I have no idea what mechanic I'm missing in that, but hopefully I can figure it out at some point. For now, sort of progressing in the Sword dungeon, we'll see if I can get this card. So thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and hopefully I can fix those frame drops as well. Bye bye!